Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop Lab. From the 70s to the present day, Hong Kong drama serials remain the staple diet of many Singaporean drama enthusiasts, from the very young to the very old. Although Korean and Taiwanese dramas have taken a slice of the pie in recent years, Hong Kong drama remains the cash cow in Singapore's video sales and rental market. TVB series accounts for more than one third of total sales in Po Kim's drama section. Scorpio East, the sole distributor of TVB content in video format here, also reports that TVB dramas make up 60% of the rental market. So what accounts for TVB dramas and during appeal? I find that very good because uh, I think for those that start off as uh, Hong, Miss Hong Kong, I think they went through quite a long time of polishing with a lot of um, uh, so-called acting skills then to really polish them up. They can show you that he is or she is not cunning at all but the action, the body slowly, you can tell. If, if let's say that um, in local, you, they want to play in cunning, I can tell you, I know this person is very cunning. I <laughs> can tell you the whole story. Like those, uh, 你真我斗, all those kind of things, right? They are very good at it. And some simply love the bitter reality portrayed in TVB dramas. My all time favorite has always been Jing Zi Yun Ye. The most memorable bit will be the, at the end of the day, all the concubines die. Only one managed to survive, uh, but it's just that it's still within her, it's very empty. Uh, and you can see at the end of the day, they fight till like hell, but the emperor is the first to run away when something happens. Uh, so it's like being a woman is such a pity at that time, uh, even though you are a concubine or even an empress. In short, the magic of TVB dramas lies in their good actors, good scripts, and fast paced story development. The exorbitant production costs also help a great deal. And in terms of distribution, they always make sure that they act faster than the cyber pirates. We are also going to make a film in Singapore So looks like Hong Kong dramas will keep many Singaporean families company for many years to come. But will Hong Kong dramas eventually lose favor with Singaporean teens who have become increasingly Koreanized? Likely, check out why the new generation has such a ravenous appetite for K-dramas.